Tonight, the Elwood Community School Board will take up the future of a controversial school superintendent who admitted to insurance fraud last week. We've got David McAnally live in Elwood tonight. He's got more of that debate. Mac? Here at the high school, Scott, the uh, Elwood Board of Education is meeting in executive session right now. That's where they take up personnel matters. And tonight, it's believed one of those personnel matters will deal with the controversial superintendent here. Uh, Casey Smetherman, the superintendent, says that she was only trying to help a student who needed medical aid earlier this month. So she took him to a medical clinic here in town. The 15-year-old was showing signs of strep infection, and he was able to get uh, an antibiotic uh, prescription. On insurance papers, though, she claimed that the teen was her son. Last week, the superintendent and the prosecutor reached an agreement that the charges against her would be dismissed if she is not arrested in the next year. Now, some residents praise the superintendent for her action, feels that she went above and beyond uh, to help a student who was in trouble, who did not have a very deep support system. Others, though, said that she should not have broken the law, of course, and that's what, uh, that's what she is alleged to have done here. And they also say that she could have, in the process, possibly endangered his health. Uh, due to come up at the 7 o'clock uh, public meeting tonight, we'll cover that and we'll have more for you tonight at 11 o'clock.